Hi everyone, and welcome to the marketing series. Tony and I are gonna talk about something that comes up a lot on discovery calls, which is ways to generate leads without spending any money at all. We're asking Tony because you've had multiple businesses that you started from the ground up. So if anyone yep. would know, it would be you. Sometimes hearing the the harsh truth is not not the not what most people want to hear, but you no, know, here it is, right? So um there's no secret, right? It's it's the easiest thing to do is, you know, let people know, right? I mean, I think that's the cheapest thing because <laughs> it doesn't cost anything, right? It's reaching out to your friends, um, you know, and just letting them know whether you're starting something, right? Or you've been doing something for 15 years, right? Uh, for a lot of times, I haven't spoken to people in a long time, you know, or the friends I do have, um, we don't talk about work. We talk about all these other fun things, right? You know, so <laughs> so just kind of reminding them, hey, you know, um, I'm a carpenter. I've been doing carpentry. Um, and I think if you approach it from the angle of do you, not if you need something where do you know anyone else that might need something, right? Or at least keep me in mind if something comes up. And you're talking about people that are in your network already of friends and family. It's a little easier to talk about, hey, I'm doing this. I'm starting this. Um, and I just want to let you know, if you know anybody who is in need of plumbing service. That's a lot easier, yeah. I think, for people. So I think that's a really I, great starting point. I totally agree, right? If someone called me and said, hey, by the way, you might know somebody that's looking for a photographer, I'm going to recommend. I'm like, oh, I have a really good friend that I've known for years. You, you know, so like, again, and that's why the, that's the importance of like letting people know, posting all the time, right? It, co it costs nothing. It, it costs time. So there's always a cost to everything. But yeah. it it doesn't cost you like any money out of your pocket. And it's something mm -hmm. super simple that you can do. That's a good first step. I like that. Last week we spoke about obviously social media, right? Um, and, and again, that's another another way, right? As far as like posting your stuff, you know, if you have little odds and ends jobs, even if you're you're not that busy right now, you know, posting about a hey, little you know, tips and tricks, you know, if you're an electrician, things you should look out for if you have kids, right? Just anything, right? Just to provide them value, just to remind them, right? This is kind of, you know, this is kind of what you do. It's free. You're talking about setting up free platforms, free. right? Like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, yep. Pinterest, all of that. Like just setting up a business page, sharing information that's helpful and relevant and engaging, some good quality yeah. content. Yeah. Talk to me about next step. Now I've talked to people in my initial network and I've set up all my social media pages. So okay. what would be my next step? So again, keep posting. Don't stop. Yeah. Okay. One thing that works really well for a lot of people, no matter what business businesses you're in, is these network groups, right? Um, you know, and, and and what they do is you're meeting with other professionals. And sometimes, you know, there's there's some pretty big groups. There's ones in Danbury, there's Hartford. And what they do is they limit the groups to like, you know, maybe one photographer or one lawyer, right? You know what I mean? So, and the reason why they do that is there might be three other, uh, three, uh, 30 other business owners in the same room. And the whole idea is you go there every week and you share information about yourselves, right? And the whole idea is to, is to kind of, you know, share referrals around the room, right? Um, something, uh, you know, one of my business partners uh, was very good at, right? Uh, he would go there and he did a lot of work for different towns and things like that. And they reciprocated and things like that. And, and it's, and it's super cool. And they have these big networking meetings and, and again, it takes a little bit of time. Right. Um, but again, it's very effective. As you're saying like these networking groups and I've heard of free ones, like there's free groups and communities on Facebook and social media platforms, but you're talking about like paid networking groups. So it sounds like that's a little bit different. That's different, right? We can get into that a little bit. Um, but from a cost standpoint of view, it's very, very effective. And for the return that you get from these, you know, sometimes one job pays for a year and you still profit, right? Depending on what industry you're oh, in. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, Where yeah. No, it's, it's it's really good. Kinds of uh, 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 BNI, uh, you know, is, you know, business networking, uh, you know, okay. just look up uh, online. You can find that. So, but they're, they're very effective. Again, I, you know, I've, I've participated in them, right? You know, my partner, like I said, he's been a part of that for years and he's done really, really well. That's like a very low cost, you know, um, way of doing that. Now, back to your point, nice thing about Facebook, uh, there's a lot of groups, okay? Like if you're in the wedding industry, as an example, there are <laughs> a lot of like CT wedding advice and all this stuff. Be proactive, be the expert, post, 
in these groups, right? Listen, try to help people, right? Um, give them value, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, there are always brides in some of these groups like, hey, do you know of a photographer? Do you know of this? Do you know of whatever, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? And and what happens in those groups, you'll, you'll notice, and I'm not a big fan of them, by the way, because it's like vultures, right? There'll be 30 DJs or they're photographers. Everyone's right? you know like, what I mean? me, me, give me this opportunity. Right, Check yeah, me out. And, and, and it's funny. It's, it's not even right like i like when someone else recommends me kind of mm-hmm. going back to the point so mm-hmm. a lot of times i don't even reach out because i'm like oh all right four people already recommended me that's awesome mm-hmm. right so that's for the wedding industry by the way there's also the same type of thing for for other industries as well right so yeah. that is a nice thing about facebook group but again right it's you in these groups watching what's going on right you know, get notifications or you know whatever you commenting you building these relationships with other vendors that might be in there again it's it's the grind right it's it's it takes time okay mm-hmm. um but if you do that long enough and, and i know somebody very well that you know grinds this thing out and and you know this person did very well with that right because he didn't have the, the money but he was willing to put the time in and you know it took him a year year and a half maybe it takes you six months <laughs> right but don't worry about that because again, that you know, what all you're doing is you're setting the foundation for what you need to do for long term growth. You're talking about like the year to six months time frame, and like not even what's next, but like what if I'm in a little bit of a hurry? Like what if six months to a year is a long time? This is going to sound obvious, all right. Um, whether you are a brand new business or a business that's established, we all should have a website. Okay. Mm. Um, if you don't, you know, people will look for you, <laughs> you know, um, and if they don't find a website, um, it's almost like, again, you're not a legitimate business, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you might be, by the way, right? You might, you, you, you <laughs> might be, right? But, you know, it, again, it's, it's a, a lower cost, right? I think most um, hosting things cost 20 to $50 a month, depending on, right? Um, there's a lot of great templates nowadays where you don't have to go spend a ton of money on a developer, right? You know, like you should build sites not to make it like this this most beautiful, perfect thing. You should build your site to capture leads, right? Because, mm-hmm. you know, um, and, and again, this is kind of like, it, it's always kind of been this way, but it's transitioning more into this world where if I land on your site, okay, people talk about uh, friction, you know, how hard is it for me to get a hold of you? Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, again, talking to a lot of clients, right. I'll, I'll go on their website and you can only call them. Right. And, you know, in, in to this next generation coming up, um, the phone, believe it or not, is becoming like the fax. Isn't that, it's, isn't that crazy? It, I, I, again, it, and but it's, it's true. It's, right. These kids, right. You know what I mean? When I say kids, like I'm talking about 20, 25 year old, they Don't do age not. Me. <laughs> They do not, right, want to pick up the phone. So again, if you're in a mm-hmm. wedding, again, knowing your market, okay, if you're yeah. if you're in the wedding industry, who's getting married, right? It's this age group. So if they go on your site and they see no way of texting you, yeah. if they see no way of potentially, you know, um, you know, web chat or, or something, right? If I go to your um, website and the information I'm looking for is not, I can't find it right away. And you don't have a web chat where I can go, here's my question. Where can I find it? I'm probably leaving. If I'm on a website, it's really hard to find that answer or to contact you to get that answer. The chances are people are leaving your website. Yeah, you, I, I totally agree. We live in an age that people want answers fast. And if they don't get it, you know, we all have short attention spans. They're out, right? You know what I mean? If the site doesn't load fast, like there's so many of these basic things that you got to have that. But if not, it's like, see you, ping, I'm out. Right. Mm-hmm. So that, that would be the next thing, right. Is again, here you are doing all this work, all this leg work to, to get people to know you, right. Calling your friends and doing all these things. Then they land on your site and then there's so much friction uh, as far as on their site that, um, right. And I, and all that hard work went to nothing. Mm-hmm. Right. So like all these things kind of work in, in, you know, together, let's just say your website's great, right. It looks great. It looks the part. You make it really easy for people to communicate with you, right? Are you following up with these people, right? And and, that, and that's what I mean. There's so many different layers, you know. Like there's there's people that are not getting enough leads, mm-hmm. right? And that's a problem by itself, 
right? Then there's people that get enough leads um, and then they get to the site and they're not capturing the leads. Mm -hmm. That's another problem, right? And then there's the people, the other, the other issue is that they're not following up with them, right? Mm -hmm. So, the, you know, there's there's so many different aspects because again, right? If you're limited on, on money or whatever, you want to try to maximize like all these things to make yeah. sure that every opportunity that someone's on your site or they, they're they seeing you on social media, you're giving them an easier way to communicate with you. Um, what would be the next step? Like I've kind of done that, hasn't generated much. You know, the next thing what you look at, now this doesn't cost you anything, right? Is do you have a Google My Business page set up? Google My Business um, is something that, you know, I, I can provide a, uh, a document for you guys to kind of properly fill that out. But, you know, it's important to have that set up properly, right? It's important to have your, your uh, be, to be verified. Uh, there's even like where you post on Google My Business now too. Mm -hmm. Most people don't even, are not even aware of that. Um, that is all signals to Google, right? So if I'm looking for a plumber in Danbury, if you properly, you know, name your images and things like that. And if you're proper, have all your things, your site has a higher chance of coming up on the first page. In order to have Google My Business, I just need a website, right? You need a website, right? And right. I mean, you know, and, and again, your location could be out of your house, by the way. So, you know, especially like in today's world, from a verification standpoint, if you need something to tell Google that you're, you know, you're a legitimate business, okay. um, you know, so you need something. But but again, that's free, right? You know, but again, there's video, there's videos on YouTube that that show you how to do that, right? You know, I mean, obviously we do that for people, you know, we have, we can do that, right? You know, mm -hmm. for you, it's a, a fee that we charge, but again, you could do it yourself. How much time right. do I have versus yeah, yeah. the cost? And, 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 and again, this, you know, this, this stuff takes time, right? And then, okay, cool. Like, how do I get more free traffic, right? Everyone talks about free traffic. Well, you know, write blogs once a week, right? Because Google eats, e eats this stuff up. Blogs with lead magnets, right? Mm -hmm. To, to kind of get that information from them, right? Mm -hmm. Again, these are all things that you can do that just cost you time, but not dollars. So you're yep. generating the lead, you're capturing the lead, and then you're continuing to engage with the lead through the yep. email marketing and communicating with them and staying for saying front of mind, really. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so, so that, you know, that, that's the, that, those are like the basics, right? You know what I mean? I, we have like a marketing checklist that kind of goes through like every little, little checkbox. Again, like, you know, if you could check most of those boxes off, you're, you're in great shape. Right. <laughs> and the good news is like, you know, most of that stuff, again, is just you doing the work, right? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like we can do it for you, but that costs money, right? Mm -hmm. But it's just doing the work, right? So we we have some of those resources and things like that. Um, yeah. Something that we're going to be releasing, going to be doing open office hours, right? And what the goal of that is, is like, hey, just ask anything, right? It doesn't cost anything. Um, you know, we're going to be posting that out shortly. So again, all you know, we're trying to give you guys as much as we, we can um, just to help. Yeah, we want these videos to, to be helpful and relevant to all small business owners, not just the wedding industry, but like any small business owner to be able to watch this and get some helpful information. Right. So if you're Absolutely. confused about lead magnets or how to set up a website that can capture leads or optimize your Google SEO, um, it's a yeah. simple comment below will get our attention and we'll be able to say, okay, let's chat with you and give you some helpful tools yeah. and resources so that we can kind of get yeah. you on that road and on that path and make that clearer, and, even in a video like this. And, you know, listen, if you, if you, if you want to, um, if you're concerned about your site, um, send us a message, DM us or whatever, right. And, and share your site. And, you know, what we can do is we'll review it. Uh, we'll shoot a quick loom video back and say, Hey, you know, based on what we're seeing here, some things you can improve doesn't cost mm -hmm. anything right um yeah. again anything to help you guys help you guys out right that's that's you know that's the goal so but uh i think that's a wrap right i think we've we've covered everything so. that we need to yeah you know again i don't want to make this super long this one was a little longer only because there's a lot of different things that you can do right and, and again there's more things that you can do but but those are like the core i would say those are like the the Starting core point. of yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? There's different levels of this stuff, right? That you can kind of move on. But again, please leave comments. Uh, you know, like we're always looking to improve. If you guys, you know, don't like the content, let us know, <laughs> whatever, right? If you want to see different content, you know, let us know too. So, but we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. And uh, I guess we'll see all of you on our next video.